What's up guys, it is JTB here. Not only am I back with Madden content after a lot of time off, but I'm coming back with a bang. Not only is it a fantasy draft, not only am I playing with one minute quarters, but I'm doing all this with the rosters from Madden 2005. Obviously there's gonna be some players that don't, aren't even in the game anymore, they're gonna be there. There's also players, I think very, very few though, that are actually still in the game. And it's going to be simple enough. Each episode, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of an intro about the game about to happen. Show you, you guys are going to see the entire gameplay. And then afterwards, we'll go ahead and talk about the game, how it all went. So that's how this episode is going to go. That's how all the episodes are going to go. Our ultimate goal, one season, get there, and then obviously win it all. Win the Super Bowl. But with that being said, let's get into the video. What's up guys, it is JTB here and we're back with another episode of the Crossover Draft with the Eagles. And after last episode's absolute atrocity, disgrace of a performance by me, it's time to bounce back. Against the Chargers, who are led by 99 overall Tom Brady. So we might not be able to bounce back. It's going to be a tough game. But here's the gameplay. Open back in 2003, have a look at the link. Lincoln Financial Field where 70,000 are rocking and ready to go in Philadelphia. Coming up, we've got a good matchup on tap between the Los Angeles Chargers and the Philadelphia Eagles. So here's the Charger offense making their way out. And here's a look at their leader, standing 6'4". And you and I both know that any win is a good win. And that's what they did last week. But there's also plenty for him to work on in his game, wasn't there? Yeah. Two touchdowns, an interception. Pick. Yeah, you know, he wants to increase that a little bit in terms of ratio. But first and foremost, they did win the game. They come up with exactly one minute to go in this first quarter. On first down, Brady. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. The numbers for him from a week ago. Eight catches, 88 yards, and a touchdown. And he was able to get open there, but that's not always easy against this bunch defensively. We are deep enough into the season where numbers count. This is number one rated defense in the NFL. He'll have a tough time. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. We're scoreless after one. Charger football to start quarter number two as they are looking at a second down and six coming up. Here's Brady. Eagle pressure too much this time. Going to take the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. On third down, here's Taylor. And he'll work three from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts. As the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. On is the Chargers punter now. As he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. On the return, here comes Lewis. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. So now here comes the Eagles offense as they get ready to take over. And we get a glance here at their leader. The man will be calling the plays under center. And the numbers were not pretty. I mean, they don't look right. If you throw two interceptions, no touchdown passes, there's no way to really make that work. But I thought there were a lot of positives in watching his game tape. I think he's close to putting on a good performance. Let's see if he can flip those numbers around in this game. And, of course, rally his team to a win. Vick will look to throw on first down. On the move to his left. Oh, he's going to air it out right away. Got a man. It's caught inside the 10. Well, that didn't take long. One play, and we're already looking. 
looking at a first and goal situation. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. A great effort there in the final seconds of the first half. And the Eagles on just two plays have taken the lead. So the big play to kick off the drive set them up first and goal, and they're able to cash in right away on play number two. I think I'm starting to understand more and more when we get ready to do games and we meet with coaches, why they talk about big plays, explosive plays, and how it sets them up for success, because that's exactly how they're able to score on this one. We saw the touchdown. We saw the payoff. But, of course, that big, long chunk play is what got them in position. Extra point right down the middle, and it's now a 7 nothing game. So time it up for a kickoff here. Five seconds remaining in this first half. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half. He'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. And no reason to do anything foolish as they'll snap it one more time on first down. And with time running short here, they'll simply take a knee and that should do it for half number one. So, due to time constraints, we move you forward in today's broadcast in the beginning of the third quarter. So, the Eagles with the lead, and they're going to get this football first as the third quarter gets underway. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. So, here are the Eagles to take over. You think back to last week, they dropped that game to the Detroit Lions. Now they're trying to make amends here as they've got the football and the lead. throw coming for Vic. Got a man. That's Ward. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Vic readies to throw. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. And that's going to leave them with just one timeout remaining still in the third quarter. We'll see if that comes back to haunt them. We'll be back. Second and ten now. Third quarter action from Philadelphia, PA. Here's Vic. He'll let this go for the end zone. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Read it well, and it's picked. And the Chargers are going to take possession here at their own 33. That is just what this defense was hoping for, an interception on the opening possession of this third quarter. Obviously didn't want to surrender a touchdown and fall even farther behind. And we've gotten to know this team a little bit, haven't we? Couldn't you just see their defensive leaders telling the offensive guys, telling the quarterback, don't worry, we got you to start things off. You take it from there. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. First and 10, Taylor now. Taken down, but a big pickup there on what's going to be the final play of the third quarter. Three quarters in the books. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. To throw is Brady. He finds Taylor complete. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. Now the Chargers hustling, trying to get up and get set. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10, and mark him at the five. 
And this will be swung out wide for Taylor. Chargers going to use their third and final timeout as they get it with just 19 seconds left on the clock. Brady to throw. This is caught. And he'll actually lose a little bit of yardage here. Back to the two. So it's seven to nothing victory. Only one touchdown is every, the only thing that we needed. And next episode, we're facing off against the seven and two Broncos. They are the number one seed in the AFC, if I'm not mistaken. So it's going to be a tough game, but hopefully we'll we'll be able to pull it off. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you're new. Next episode comes out tomorrow, like all the previous ones have been. If you want to go ahead and watch those, do those as well. And it is JTB signing off.